Hello! Welcome back to my second channel. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm so happy that you're back here at my second channel. If you just stumbled upon this video and you thought it was on my main channel, it's not. This is my second channel. This is where we like to get a little bit goofier. So if you're just finding this channel for the first time, go ahead and subscribe and just see what happens. The last video I posted did really well. I think it has like 800,000 views, which is pretty good for a second channel. So we're gonna keep that going with another garbage video today. I don't think I've ever made a video about the obscene amount of doppelgangers that I seem to have. It seems like every day someone tweets me a picture of someone that they say looks like me. And usually it's just a picture of a person with a big nose that looks nothing like me. But sometimes I get tweeted pictures of people that look eerily similar to me. And it's gotten to a point where I now have like a huge thread on Twitter. Every time I get one that I think is pretty good, I add it to this thread. And even though I have that thread on Twitter, I've never actually made a video about it. And I've never actually ranked them. So that's what I'm going to do today. I've seen a lot of videos of people doing like tier lists of different things. So I thought it would be kind of fun to do a tier list of my doppelgangers. So I've got them all loaded up here. I've got my screen recording and we're just going to go through them and we're going to figure out why are there so many people that look like me and why are most of them women? Okay, the first one I got here, I, someone sent me this a while ago and they said that they got their car repaired and I didn't really think this one was that good, but the person who sent me this, I think said that the mechanic's name was Greg and I think that that's a pretty cool coincidence that this person looks vaguely like me and his name is Greg. He's got kind of the nose... Oh shoot. He's kind of got the nose, he's kind of got the hair, but it just doesn't all come together just right. So I'm gonna put this bad boy in... Oh shit, what did I do? I'm not good at screen recording. I'm gonna put this bad boy in C tier. It's like not a great doppelganger if I'm being honest, but it's, it's kind of impressive that his name is Greg. This next one, I think this one is pretty good. In fact, when I tweeted this, a lot of people were like, that's just you when you were younger. This looks more like me now than it looks like me when I was younger, but I still think it's pretty good. I feel like this is a C tier also. Yeah. C tier. This one's a good one. This is someone's history textbook. This dude, Carlos, he sent this to me on Instagram. This is Lord Byron, presumably royalty of some sort. I think he looks a lot like me. Like if you don't show the hair at all, I think that looks pretty similar to me. And I'll be real, I like the fact that he's like royalty or at least his name is Lord Byron. I'm gonna put that in A tier, actually. I quite like me some Lord Byron. Okay, so yeah, this one is not so good. This is a picture of a woman. Okay, this woman... This woman's got like, she's got the brown hair. She's got maybe the eyes and the nose and maybe the lips. And I'm realizing I'm describing the whole face. I don't know, there's just something about it. Like everything is just a little bit off, which makes the whole thing a lot off. It was good enough to go on the doppelgangers list, but I don't really think it's like that good. So she is gonna go, oops. I squished her. How did it? Okay. I'll just squish her down this way. She's gonna go in D tier. Maybe even E tier. Uh-oh, what's coming up next? It's another woman. It's kind of interesting to see like where where these come from, like where people find these. This one is like, it's like a, a poster for a military school. Yeah, West Point. That's, I'm pretty sure that's a military school. So the face we're looking at is right here, if you couldn't tell. And as much as I hate to admit it, I think that this looks a lot like me. I think her face is a little bit more round, but like if you just look at like the eyes and the nose, nose and the lips it is it is concerning how much this looks like me so like am i upset that it's a woman yes but am i still going to put her in b tier yeah i am she's gonna get squished right into b tier okay this one i'm not i'm not really sure what this is it's from some instagram account someone clearly sent this to me yeah i don't know it looks like me kind of but it also looks a little bit too old to be me and we all know that i will never look old because i've looked 12 for my entire life i'm gonna toss this bad boy into c tier there he goes he's going sideways i i don't know i don't think this one's that great for one my hair is not even that dark i don't think maybe it is is it no, I don't think it's quite that dark. You know what's weird is my hair used to be blonde and sometimes I still think that my hair is blonde when it's very clearly like pretty dark brown. And so I say like, no, I've got blonde hair. And then I remember that I don't. I'm gonna put this in D tier. I don't think this looks like me. This looks like it came from an old yearbook or something. It is very blue. I don't know why the whole picture is blue. Maybe this was taken like in between when they invented black and white pictures and when they invented color pictures, like they just had one color at one time and it was blue. Uh, I don't think that's true. I would say this face looks pretty similar to mine. Like if I made this face, like this squinting face. Yeah, I could see this. I'm gonna put it in A tier, honestly. Ba -ba -bum 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 -bum. It's another lady. And if I'm being honest, I think that this looks a lot like me. And I also think that this lady is really pretty. So I'd 
I don't know how to feel about that. I think this could go in like A or B tier. Maybe B tier. It's not quite A tier. Is it conceited of me to think that this woman who happens to look a lot like me is really pretty? Yeah, pro yeah, probably is conceited. She's gonna go in the B tier. I considered putting it in the A tier, but I don't like how confused it makes me, so I'm putting it in the B tier. Okay, this is a picture from some TV show or movie, I think. I've gotten this sent to me a lot, so it must be from something fairly popular, and I think that the amount of times it's been sent to me speaks to how much it looks like me. This really does look like it could have been me when I was younger. In fact, I did kind of look like this when I was younger, because I, I kind of went with the long hair. And if you didn't know what I looked like when I was younger, this, you could, this could easily pass as me. Like, I would almost put it in S tier, honestly, but it doesn't look like me now, so I'm gonna put it in A tier. It could go in S, but it's too young of a face to be your boy young face. Next up, we got this headphone ad that was, I believe, in the London subway. I could understand why people think this looks like me, but when you look close up, it actually doesn't look anything like me. And it's also like a pretty small picture of a face. I think it's just sort of like a nondescript white dude with brown hair, and I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of other nondescript white dudes with brown hair also got people sending them this picture. To be quite honest, this has got it. This has got to go in the F tier. I don't like putting things in F tier. I especially don't like the fact that there are a lot of women that are higher up on the tier list than this, but you know what? Sometimes we gotta make the tough calls. Okay, this is a fun one. This is a fun one because this actually was not sent to me. I actually found this. This picture is at a bar called Muldoon's, which recently closed. It doesn't exist anymore, but it was in the town that I grew up in. And I thought this guy looked kind of like me. And I think I might have been a little bit tipsy at the time because he kind of doesn't. Off of just the face alone, I might put it in like E tier, but because I found it and it would hurt my pride to put it so low, I'm gonna put it in D tier. And you might think that that's not allowed, but it is because it's my tier list and I'm allowed to do whatever I want. All right, here comes the sad prince guy. I don't know what this is from. I don't know who this guy is. And I also don't think it really looks like me. It's gonna go in the D tier. It would go in the F tier if I didn't think it wasn't such a silly pick. I think that what we're coming to find out while doing this tier list is that how much it looks like me is only a little bit important. And what's really important is whether I like the picture or not. So this is an interesting one. This looks like a picture in a health book or something. It says active listening promotes and protects health and healthful relationships. So, and someone circled the nose and wrote Danny Gonzalez in it. I don't know if it's the person who sent me this picture or if like the person who sent me this picture opened the book and it was already like this. Either way, I think that's pretty funny that that's just in this health textbook from now on forever, but I don't really think it looks that much like me. I can see the nose, I can see why they circled it, but I the rest of the face doesn't really look that much like me, so I'm gonna put it in the C tier. Okay, this picture, I don't really think it needs much explanation. It's, you know, that's, it's just the, this is just how it is. Like, I understand the resemblance, but it is gonna go in D tier because I don't like it. I just don't wanna confront the fact that I look like this one. So I'm just gonna put it in D tier. This is a picture of the side of a case of beer, I think. This one's gonna go in E tier. So this one was sent to me when I was still doing Vine and I would do that dad character a lot. I would have glasses and a fake mustache. So someone sent this to me being like, my brother looks just like you. Look, here he is dressed up like you. Um, and I appreciate the effort, but I don't think it, he looks that much like me. The hair is pretty good. Actually, he looks decently like me. I'm gonna put him in B tier, a little bit because he looks like me and a little bit because of the effort that he put in. You know, I gotta appreciate the effort. This is from another movie. I do not know which movie, but this again is a very convincing younger version of me. Honestly, this kind of like doesn't even look like a younger version of me. This looks just, this kind of just looks like me. I have been told I look like a 10 year old from time to time. Am I gonna put this in S tier? Am I? Could I do it? No. Okay, yeah, I will. No, I will. He'll go in S tier. We got our first S tier. Everyone clap. I don't know if there's gonna be any more S tiers, honestly. This was a vine and people would not stop tagging me in this vine. And I also don't even think I look that much like this guy, which makes it even more annoying. He's gonna go in E tier. Well, Nah, he's gonna go in D tier. One of the most popular celebrities to send me that I look like, Gabe from The Office. I don't know his actual name, but people send me this dude all the time. I do think I look like him. I don't think I look that much like him, but I think he's a solid B tier. I think people send him to me so much because he's so famous and The Office is such a popular show. Ooh, okay, I like this one. People always tell me I look like the guy from Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. I see where you're coming from. 
I don't think the resemblance is necessarily uncanny. I could see him being a solid C tier. I would put him a little bit higher if he were a real person and not an animated character, but unfortunately I'm not an animated character, so I really can't make that concession. Okay, this is a young Gene Wilder, aka Willy Wonka. I've gotten this one a decent amount. I think I look a little bit less like him than I do like Gabe from The Office, so he's gonna go in C tier. This one is a very concerning image because I tweeted this and my own father texted me asking me why I was wearing a wig and pretending to be on Dr. Phil. And he was very surprised to find out that this is actually just a woman that was on Dr. Phil and not me at all. I really don't want to put her in A tier, but you know, much to my chagrin, I think I'm gonna have to. Okay, this is another woman. Honestly, people have sent me this one a lot too. I think this looks more like Daniel Radcliffe than it looks like me. I don't know, looking at her, like if I, maybe if I make the face, like does that look like me? I don't know. I don't really see it that much. I'm gonna put it in D tier. And is that because of how she looks? Or is that because I want this to be kind of a symmetrical bell curve shape? I don't know. I couldn't say. I could only answer that by looking deep down into my heart, which is something that I uh, never do. So this is another one that my own family refused to believe was not me. It's very impressive. I don't know what was going on here. If I, is this... I think she's like dressed as Madonna. This is gonna have to go in A tier. This is such an iconic doppelganger of mine. It was like one of the first ones that I added to the Twitter thread. It's a pretty good one. I'm not gonna pretend like it doesn't look like me. Okay, this one is a little concerning. Uh, this person DM'd me with this image and said, Danny, why are you a World War One clip art? Like as much as I hate to admit it, this really does look like me. Kind of crazy how this looks so much like me while still not being very detailed. I was honestly very impressed with this one. This one's gonna go in A tier. I like this one. Okay. All right. This is a good one. Look at this. Look at this shit. This is, this is straight up me. Look at this. Wait, watch. Ready? Does that not look exactly like me? I saw this. This is in a music video. I forget what the, I forget what band it is. And when I saw this, I had to like stop and be like, was that? Was I in a music video that I don't remember or something? This seriously looks so much like me. And I don't know if it's because we're only seeing one distinct angle. He's also wearing a hat, so it's covering up his hairdo. But this also kind of seems like a shirt that I would own. When we're talking doppelgangers, I mean, this is about as good as it gets. This is going in the S tier. Very impressive. Whoever found this and sent it to me, I am very impressed. Here we go with another woman. You know what? I see it, but it's not like that strong. I'm gonna say C tier. I think it's like a fair comparison, but I don't, it doesn't really like jump out at you. This on the other hand, this is a girl on TikTok and it's pretty solid. I mean, we have like different hair color. See, the thing is, do we go strictly based off the face? Because if we do, I would say that this is a shoe in for the A tier. Like if we're just looking right here, like that's, that's A tier material right there. We got another famous, celebrity in the mix. If you don't know who this is, he's from the show Shameless. His name is Lip in the show. I see it. I get it. But looking at the competition, I don't really think he stacks up to anything, anything above C tier, really. Here comes this girl, and I don't, I have, don't really have anything to say aside from sh she's going in the B tier. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the finish line. We got one more picture, then we're donezo. This is a picture that I've, I've gotten a few times, but I think is, is pretty good. And that picture is... The maid from the Brady Bunch. You see, she is an older woman, and I am a young man, but it's pretty impressive how close her hairstyle is to mine. Her face is very similar to mine. I think, I think, I feel like she could go in the A tier. Is that crazy? Is it crazy to put the maid from Brady Bunch in the A tier? I don't know, sis. May I'll she could go in the A or B tier. I'll put her in B tier. Sure, what the heck. Alrighty, guys. Well, take a good look at it. This is the comprehensive list of all my doppelgangers and how they stack up against each other. It's a pretty incredible variety, too. We got everything from, like, TV shows, music videos history textbooks, yearbooks, Halloween costumes. I don't know where this is from. World War One clip art. You know, you never expect to find a doppelganger in World War One clip art. Everything from the London subway to, you know, the mom from Brady Bunch. You know, you can't get much more variety than that. So if you sent me one of these doppelgangers, thank you. If you happen to know of any more doppelgangers, I I'll save this so that I can add to it later. Maybe we can do a part two at some point. Thank you guys for checking out the second channel. It's been kind of fun to just post stuff on here that I don't have to think too hard about and just kind of have fun experimenting with different stuff. But with that being said, that's uh, the end of the video. Bye.